Ready? Jaw down and up. There we go. There we go. Up like that. 100! Oh my god! If that is, if this is real, I think we found it. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Alive. You, you like? Look, apart from the facial hair, I'm kind of tidy. Amazing, right? I just got my hair cut and the guy like spent ages like putting wax and hairspray in my hair. So I feel, no, we're not here for me, amazing haircut. Although, I, ooh, hold on, there we go. Better? Oh, I like that bit. I've got a little bit of a Teletubby thing going on. Either way, join me, won't you? While I quickly catch a Gallimimus and go on about what's been going on in the game. Oh God, I never, oh, oh I'm under pressure. Oh, that was awful. Oh God, I never do it with on a huge iPad. <laughs> Come on, keep. Now, Gallimimus, I never find in the wild, and it's only from this sort of event that I've. Ah, I got a 12 at the end. Oh, well, not too bad. Not too bad. Especially for it being, like, incredibly far away. And there was also what seemed to be. Yes, you! Gotta catch you as well. Gotta catch you all. Gotta catch you all. Go! Ah, oh, seven. Beautiful. Should we just go for, like, the lowest score you can get? Well, obviously, that would be zero, wouldn't it? <laughs> that wouldn't be. That wouldn't take too much skill now, would it, James? And 11, there you go. Less than 100, 88. Beautiful. I'm not usually that bad. <laughs> but no, um, yes, I just, because I haven't made a video on this in ages, and I wanted to show you my team, where I'm at, where I think the game's at, and just general, um, some advice that I'd like from you guys too, just because I don't know what to do with my team, because apparently it's garbage. <laughs> so, this is my team. This is my team for uh, Jurassic, uh, well, the tournament that's around at the moment. And that tournament, so I'm, yeah, I'm not really fussed about where I am in the leaderboard as long as I cup come top 4,000. Don't want to get too much into it just because everybody in the leaderboard is is blatantly a cheater. <laughs> it's so funny because there was an article um, by MetaHub and they were like, oh, we got to interview one of the top three people, Lego Min, and he's a legit player. I read the interview. Nowhere did they state how he was a legit player or anything. And they were like, ooh, it must have been tough coming top three. What would, did you have to do? And he was just like, well, you know, I, I, had to, I was very worried about this, that, and the other. And <laughs> it's just like you look at his team and you're like, no, mate, you didn't have to be worried about anything. If I had a team like that, of course you'd be top three. But yeah, anyway, so I just wanted to um, tell you where I'm at. Um, so this is my team at the moment. I got an Indominus Rex because it kind of has to be there. It's one of the strongest dinosaurs. Indoraptor as well. Uh, Megalosuchus is... I don't see many people playing it, um, just because it's it's not... It doesn't have, like, a direct tactic. It, it's kind of one of those where it, it can be used in a very specific situation to get you out of trouble, and that's what I use it in. Uh, like, let's say they, they've got a tiny little bit of health left. You're both on two kills, but the next one could seal the victory, and you know you're gonna die. So he's just gonna go for it. So if you switch into Megalosuchus, he'll go for it, and then the counterattack will kill it. If they're on, if you're both on no health. Anyway, but before we do that, just wanted because I was on four thousand three hundred uh, cups or trophies, whatever you want to call it. That was the highest I've ever gotten, and as the tournament's been going on and on and on. I've just been dropping slowly, slowly, slowly down. Like, it seems like everybody I face, because they're all, they're all bots. Let's be honest here, they're all bots. You don't fight real people in the tournament. Just get that out there. Just in case anybody thinks they are real people. The only time you fight real people is when you do uh, PvP with your friends. Uh, for instance, if we look at the people on my team, or at least on my friends list from, I added them ages ago, I added Jeff Goldblum and became Beaver Jr. just because how could you not? <laughs> I haven't added anybody in ages. As you can see, I've only got 13. Uh, but th let's look at this guy. Ooh, 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 yeah. Ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah. Uh, level 16. Uh, level 20, Indominus Rex. Level 22, Indoraptor. Level 19, Paratator. Uh, Stegodus, just because it's just way too OP. If I face a level 25 Stegodus, it can wreck everything I've got. Nothing stands a chance against it. Um, the Rajankalosaurus, eh, fair enough, um, but interestingly enough, the Gala, the Gallimimus, uh, Monolophosaurus hybrid isn't there. Uh, but if you really want to do it, ooh, go on then, why not? Let's have a look at top leaderboards. Top three, 28,000, 26,000, 23,000 trophies. It, it's just, it just came to the point where it's like, Ludia said they were going to remove hackers and cheaters. And I think they did to an extent. 
Now, they could never get rid of all of them just because there would be way too many. Um, and people like this, who for some odd reason, they're just keeping in. I don't know why this is, why they're deciding, you know what, we're just going to keep these guys in. Because for a if we just even think about a second how much coin this costs, it's ridiculous. Now, unless they've spent hundreds, if not thousands of pounds, I've already got over this to subject, so I'll not spend too long on it. There's no way. And the same with Lego Man. I don't, I don't care. I've taken like... There's, there is a legit player out there who I saw comment on my last video, I think his name was like Pokemon, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, and he plays it legit and he's finally unlocked all of the uh, like the legendary, or sorry, should I say unique hybrids. Um, and he's just got them, like the lowest levels. Um, and for a level 30 Indominus, Indoraptor, level th even level 30 Stegodus, it costs, I don't even want to know how much that costs. So much. Um, and even if we go all the way down to level 32, Owen. We're looking still at level 28, level tw like Indoraptor and that Ulid Ulica Dominus, whatever, t bottom right, and the T-Rex. That's so much T-Rex and Indominus Rex DNA. It, it's it's just it, like it. There's nothing they begin. They're all cheaters. They're all level 20, and they're all. I don't know. I feel like that's the case. There's probably going to be people who are going to say they're probably not level 20. Most people have who have legitimately played it have got to level 20. I'm not, I'm just trying to say it's just annoying because for us guys who play it normally, we're never going to get the top prizes. It's basically just give all the cheaters and hackers the top prizes to get even more overpowered creatures. I just want to see, I thought Ludi would do this and just put all of them in their own tournament. That's what I thought was going to happen, but apparently it hasn't. And even if we go even lower, there probably is some people dotted in here who are legit players. So I just want to say that. Um, but yeah, it's basically all level 20. They're using Indoraptors, all the unique hybrids and stuff like that. Um, but now I get into the exciting bit because we get to open up some incubators. And I've saved that le the epic incubator and the red incubator for ages for this episode for you guys. So before we start, let's let's start on the, uh, the eight hour one. Um, I mean... I think every incubator, at least for the past few months, at least, you always get um, uh, Stiggy Morlock. So, yeah, that's fair enough. I kind of want T-Rex DNA, though. That's kind of what I want. So, there, you always get, like, a guaranteed 15 Stiggy Morlock. Now! Now, come on! God, this will be good. I really want something good here. I mean, coin is really... You can see I'm on 280... Sorry, yeah, 283,000 coin. That will go in a second, trust me. Um, but ever since the last video, I haven't spent any coin. Very rarely. I think I upgraded Stegodus to an extra level. I, I really don't want to put him out. Oh, that's good. Because I'm, I'm going for that Dilophosaurus, uh, Dinocheris hybrid thing. 322 of that. And, uh, both have no hybrids, so they're kind of a waste. But here we go. The, the main event. Come on. Come on. Seven. Okay. 12,000 coin. Not bad. Almost to 300,000. Jeg, kind of a waste. Yeah. Not too bad. Would have rather got switched them up. That's okay. Eventually, we're going to need that. Um, uh, Conotaurus doesn't have a hybrid at the moment. I'm pretty sure it will get one soon. Or eventually. It's a really... Um, oh, and stick them up. Please be T-Rex. Please be T-Rex. Damn it. 40. I mean, Sticky Moloch does have a hybrid. The Paramoloch. But it's just... It's not really that good. I don't see anybody use it. And I've fought against it a couple of times. And it's just got like stuns and eventually a rampage and run and it doesn't seem too great so now let's have that how we get like i think i can do indoraptor i can do one fusion of indoraptor now there's something going on in the game now people have reported that if you click the animation and in indoraptor does a certain movement or a certain thing if you then create at this specific time you are guaranteed a higher rate of dna now um I've done this once, apparently it's when, if you go onto Indominus Rex, and you click raw, and just before, now, when it does the, the lunge down, does the raw, if you click then, you get loads of DNA. Now, I've only had enough DNA to test it once, and I got 50. Um, so I have yet to believe whether this is legit, or whether it's just pure coincidence, and people, it's like a, a placebo effect, they think if they do that, it was a bit like with Pokemon, if you hold down the A button, you catch the Pokemon. 100% it was just, it felt like, I felt like it was legit, but I'm pretty sure in the code it's not even programmed to be a thing. So, so I should probably put my microphone, oh god, don't, 
Don't break the microphone stand, James. I should probably put it there. Therefore, you can hear me better, maybe. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know how legit that is, but it is something people are prescri uh, subscribing to. Prescribing? I'd like to order that. <laughs> so, if we get lucky, we could get a level 23 Indoraptor here. Now, I'm going to do it at Indoraptor's biggest. Now, where's the biggest? That. Okay, just before the boom. So, let's see if we time that right. Now, it might not be the case. It might. I don't know where Indoraptor's best animation part is for the DNA. But we'll try that. We'll, we'll give that a shot. Okay. So, just before the boom. Okay, there we go. Did we get any good? 20 DNA. Oh, that's so annoying. 10 more DNA and we would have got there. Oh, man. So maybe it's the second one. Maybe it's that second roll. Who knows? But now I've got 298,000 coin. I didn't... I really, really, really don't want to, like, get my Stegodus up anymore. Just because I know it's going to get nerfed. It's 100% going to get nerfed. I know it. I know it, I know it. But at the same time, it's such a good dinosaur that really needs it. But... Before we do any of that, actually, I've been saving all of these because finally I can show you all the flies I've got. I don't even know how much DNA I've got because I can't see until I catch them. So I had to go up tricks there. Um, I don't know if that's a hybrid. How many? Uh, 1,275. Um, and how much health does it have? Oh, sorry. I should say how many? 23,000 I've got of it. Oh, fantastic. And it doesn't have a hybrid. Oh, okay. Uh, this is a rare one. Every now and again, I see a flyer like flying around and it's I think it's really cool I'm like Whoo, that must be a rare and usually if it's flying around I think there isn't a flying around pteranodon that isn't a rare. These guys all need buffs though They all need buffs because none of them are particularly that fast and even Ludia know that they all need buffs because they said what do you think like they put a poll on Twitter saying do they need more attack or do they need more speed? What do you think because apart from the um the, of course, the legendary, also, should I say, is it epic? No, it is legendary. The legendary hybrid, which is the An Ankylosaur Gen 2 and the Alanqua, um, I don't think there's any real need to have um, any of the flyers in your team, unless, unless you, of course, I mean, talking about late game here, because at the very end, if they're not legendary um, or unique creatures, you're not going to use them. Um, but really, the ones to pay attention here are Tyrandon and Alanqua. Tyrandon at the moment doesn't have a um, a hybrid, but I'm pretty sure that's going to change. Eventually, it'll change. Um, which was Tyrandon. So Tyrandon's here. Um, so we'll create this. Now, I feel like there there's been a few events recently where you've had the chance to pick either Alanqua or Tyrandon. And I, I, I didn't really show any sort of allegiance to one. I was like, ah, if I'll, I'll just catch either one, you know, see how it goes. So I got 1,560 uh, Trandon DNA. Alanqua, I think I might have a bit more of just because um, there was a couple of incubators that were Alanqua as well. So 1,500 to beat, 2,000 health, 472, but what's the... 1,003. So it's, a, it's about equal. Um, and you need a level 15 of that to get Alankosaurus. So chances of that, yeah, I could get a few, but I, I might be able to just make it. I need to get uh, Ankylosaur Gen 2 up. And this is, of course, the Brachiosaurus. Um, only bumped into a couple of these when I used an epic uh, incense. Um, otherwise, I think I've only seen one. Um, hence, we have 478. It's not too bad. Um, and what's the other ones we've got? Right, yes, this this one, everyone was like, oh, what is that? But it's Gryposuchus, which was the... The latest epic added in with Brachiosaurus, which seems to be pretty hard to find. I just happened to come across two of them. Um, oh, we have enough to make a level 12. But is it any good? Um, vulnerability Strike. We've seen a lot of dinosaurs used to have that. Now have Superiority Strike. Uh, lockdown Impact and Ferocious Strike. Only three moves. I mean, it is an epic, I suppose. Doesn't seem too great. Now, these... Now, this is one that I was wanting to get to level 20, I think. The Dilorangosaurus. So, that's what we're going to do today. This is the Dilophosaurus and, um, uh, what is it? Uh, Oranosaurus. That's right, because I got so many Oranosaurus DNA. This is definitely one creature that I want to max up. Uh, so, we'll, we'll probably keep on going for that. We've got 2,785 Oranosaurus and 5,000... Um, Dilophosaurus. And I've been slowly grinding up the Dinocheris up to level 20. I think it's level 16 at the moment. But again, that costs so much coin and so many, like, so much DNA to get it. And the final one, um, I've seen this one used a couple of times, probably because I'm just low down. Nobody seems to use it other than that. Uh, the Allosinosaurus. Now, it's funny. 
all of the Sinoceratops hybrids got nerfed. Absolutely, like this one, I don't think got touched just because nobody used it. But the Utah, the, is it Utah Sinraptor? Yeah, the Utah Sinraptor I think got nerfed as well. Um, because I think it's, um, it's instant, instant charge or something like that got completely nerfed just because it used to be 100% guaranteed stun, now it's not, and even then, you can't use it, like... I think you can use it one turn earlier, but it's not a guaranteed instant stun. Uh, and general speed, I think, might have been enough. So that leaves only those left to get. Um, I mean, I've got Dimetrodon for this, and Pyro... We need to get this. Pyrotator, 40,000 coin. I'm happy leveling that up a little bit more, because it's in my team, and it means normal attack has over that much. Don't think we can... Yeah, unfortunately, don't think I can get, uh, it's just Irritator, it's just Irritator, I've gotten as many, uh, Pyroraptor DNA as I need, I just need the Irritator, so that makes that another level 20, uh, so we'll go up to the top, um, I, I kind of want this up there as well, you know, it's just a general practice to get most, um, like, legendary dinosaurs up to level 20, because if you, if they usually have a unique hybrid, which some may eventually get, you need them up to level 20, so that's another 40,000 coin I'm happy to use, I use it anyway, and it gets more health, and it gets more attack, so I'm happy with that, um, and we have loads if we want to hybridize it more, um, the same with this guy, now, this is a question I posed to you guys, should I get monostegotops higher, or this one, the monomimus, because, I'm leaning towards more than Mon Monomimus because it has, it's immune to everything, which is amazing. Um, uh, it has distracting impact, which is really good. Um, nullifying impact, so it can debuff anything that has, and evasive stance. So that to me is just really good, and it's a speed 129, which means it outspeeds a lot of regular dinosaurs. So, you know, 20,000, I'm happy to spend on that. Get a couple more attack, couple more health. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking this is where I'm going to plow most of my Monolophosaurus into. I've got 10 more tries. Again, it's like a case of like finding which bit is the bit you click for the uh, Monolophosaurus or Monomimus in this case. So should we go for the head shake? Let's try the head shake. So ready and head shake. There we go. Click just as head shake started and 10 DNA. Okay, so now, this is the interesting part. Now, people that believe the animation plays a role in how much DNA you get, what we'll do is we'll click off, we'll try it again. Now, if there is a specific place to click to get, a, a, like, a specific amount of DNA, if we click the same place, we should get 10. So, around about... That was a little bit earlier, so it might not be the same. And we got 40. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's try... How about the roar? The start roar, so... And the top. When it closes its mouth, let's see if that does it. And that's 20. Okay. So, it seems to be the head shake. Before the head shake, might be. If this is even a thing, it might be there. So let's wait. And... That was way before the head shake. And... 10 again. Okay. So, it doesn't seem to really make much of a difference. So let's... Let's see if we can do the head shake. So, just before the head shake. There you go. Just It was around about the same time as the 40 and 10. So, I'm, if I'm honest, I think it's just a placebo effect. People seem to think, like, it's just like holding the A button in Pokemon. I don't think it really makes much of a difference. Um, but one, one dinosaur that I really want to level up is this guy. I just know if it does have a hybrid, it's such a waste. It's a waste. 70,000 coin to get an extra... It's like, it is a decent amount. It's 200 and odd health. And 42 attack. You know what? 70,000. Let's do it. I mean, lo loads of the high players have it. If I have any chances of getting higher in the tournament, I have to have that guy even higher. Um, so now we need 500. It's just 23. Level 23. That's the highest dinosaur I've ever got, including Indoraptor. But now I want to start going towards this guy. So if we have the spit of the frill, is it? Or, yeah, that one. How about when his mouth's open there? Honestly, don't think it makes much of a difference. I'm kind of tempted to just go for just doing it like this. I don't think it plays a role. I mean, we get loads of tens. There's been theories in the past. This is it, right? Before this was a thing, it's the animation. It was, oh, if you grind down on some other ones, it's almost a cycle. So if you get a few tens on something else and then you do the, um, the one you want, you'll have a higher chance of getting higher DNA. Honestly, I feel like it might be. I don't know. It's just so disheartening to see 10. 
10, 10. So let's try and the long one and there you go. So roar down with the head tilt. How about that? Still again, that was 10. And we'll do head tilt again. Will we get 10 again? No, we get 30 that time. So it does seem to be just completely random. I've got to admit, so 15,000. We need to get this guy up to level 20. And if it is level 20, it might be usable. Um, so what's its attacks? Super superiority strike, which is really good. Distracting impact, which is pretty good. Greatest stunning rampage, 75% chance for two times damage, which is really good. And impact and run, which gives you an, a chance to attack and switch out. So this guy, pretty decent. Haven't used it yet. Um, oh god. Oh, I'm gonna run out of Dilophosaurus DNA before I run out of Oranosaurus DNA. So, and there it is. When the mouth is most open. How about 10? No, 20 that time. It does seem to be random. I do want to believe that if you do it at a certain point, you will get more DNA. I really want to believe that. Um, you just need to do it like, if it is a case, you need to do it right at the start. So that one, it might be when the mouth's open and, ooh, it could be that one actually at the very end. So this one, we try with that mouth open and, oh, it could be that last one. Ooh, 30 that time. Okay. So this time we'll get this one. We do at the end with that one, the last lift up. So, oh, oh, we're level 15. Ooh, okay. Uh, oh, a one time offer. Four times the value. Minimum guaranteed 657. Yep. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do it. And this one. Oh, damn, we missed it. Okay. So it's not that one. It's not that one, it's this one. There we go. So the final roll, how about that? 10. You know what I mean? It's 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 complete look. It's it's all in your head whether you think it, it's gonna work or not. Not this roll, it's the next one. And big roll, there we go. How about that? 10. You know what I mean? So either I'm just clicking at the wrong times or it's a bunch of fooey. <laughs> So level 80, not bad. I'm just happy, like really happy to get rid of all that Aranosaurus DNA and put it into something worthwhile. In this case, being a Dilo-Ranosaurus. So we got 10 more tries. We could get to level 19. Again, mm, it's all luck really, honestly. It, it, it is all luck. Oh, 40 that time. Ooh, not bad. Okay, let's try that again. So that was when the jaw went up on that frill. So it wasn't this animation, wasn't this one. We'll try to say, you see, cause there's two animations. So does that mean both animations have the, uh, the thing? So it was, and that one, as the jaw went up, that was a 40. Oh my God. Okay, maybe as the jaw goes up, could it be possible? Let's try that one. That was really good. Okay, if there's a specific frame to get it on, that was the one, if it exists, this theory at all. Okay, ready? So not that one, not that one. This one, as jaw goes up, as jaw goes up. 30, again, could be complete luck. I did get so many tens that I was due a pretty decent um, DNA get there. Now let's keep trying. I just, I just want to nail down whether that is a thing or I can just scrub that from the record and say it's not. It's just, and jaw up. Jaw up, there we go. How about that one? 20 DNA, okay. Possibility, maybe I was a bit too early. We could say that, but look at that. I almost had 300,000 coin. It has vanished. I only have 58,000 now. Um, so come on, let's, let's keep going. Let's see if this works at all. Ready, jaw down and up. There we go, there we go, up like that. 100! Oh my God, if that is, if this is real, I think we found it. We got a 90 and a 100 at about the same animation. Again, it could be complete luck. It could be complete luck, but let's give it a shot. Okay, ready? And draw uh, up. There we go. How about that one? 10. Possibility I was too late there. Possibility. But again, like I said, it could all be luck. It could all be luck. I'm not saying this works. And I'll probably repeat myself, uh, but after seeing a 90 and a 100, I, you know, I could have got that just by clicking it normally. That's the thing. I just want to make sure like, okay, ready? And jump. There we go. That might be a bit too late. I'm not sure. 
Ah, it could have been. I don't know. I don't feel like I'm doing anything different though. I'm saying it could have been late and it's getting in my head just because I didn't get the 100. If I got the 100, I'd be like, that was it. But because I got the 20, I was like, oh, it's a little bit late. So you see what I mean? It could just be all in your head. <laughs> so let's do it and jump. There we go. I, I did it early that time. And 10. So it does seem to be there isn't a specific animation. I would love to believe there is. But that's what we all want. We all want there to be like, oh, th yeah, that's it. If you click at that point, you'll get it. But after trying this loads of times, ready? And Joe up. There we go. 10. I, 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 like, we could probably overlap both of those tries and get it specific to see exactly how off I was. In fact, that's what I'll do. As soon as I click the animations, I'll layer them over now just to show you all the different tries and where exactly, I mean, I'll probably overlay them and see just exactly what of a mess it looks like. But honestly, it, it does feel like all of them were about the same time. So we'll do it for the second, well, the last time. And, and draw up. There we go. Let's go. And 28. Yeah. It honestly, it does feel like it's 100% low. Anyway, we spent enough time with Doloranosaurus there. Is there anything we can switch that for? Possibly this guy, Monostegatops. I feel. Because it is level 17. We'll switch it out for now. It might not be better, but for now, it is. And let's try to win a freaking battle, shall we? Okay, now I'm going to really think about how I use my dinosaurs here. So, we have Indoraptor, Estegodus, the newly evolved Diloranosaurus, and the, the um, Megalosuchus. Now, this is interesting. I really need to think about how I play this. The Stegodus does seem to be the best to send out first because it's a tank and it's got so much versatility. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to play it safe. Now we should technically win this just because they are quite low down and already it's a level 18. So what we're going to do here is probably going to go for slowing strike. I'm going to go for superiority at slowing impact. That's it. So that way I nullify him. I get to go first. And with this... Oh, Basil's in here. No, I, I check it, buddy. I know. <laughs> He's like at the top of the green screen, sticking his nose. Okay, I could go for a big hit here. Um, no, but... <laughs> he just went... <laughs> now, I'm doing that just to make sure that I, you know, if I do get stunned, which I did, at least this way, um, I'm going to take the least amount of damage from this because... Oh, interesting. I would have thought he would have went for a stunning strike there. But he probably knows that I've got my shield up. So now he'll go for it. There it is. So he's dead now. We're going to go for Thagomizer as long as we're not stunned. There we go. So we won this pretty easy. We've got 1,900. I'm probably going to have to go for my armor piercing here. That's the only thing. Because that's... Oh, it's so close. How about that? Oh, okay. I'm going to have to go for that. Didn't really want to use that there. Because it, it was just like double the amount we needed. Even more. So not bad. Okay. This is, he's going to be faster. So, if I was him, what would I go for? I wouldn't go for instant invincibility. I'd probably go for... Rampage. Oh no! Long invincibility. Okay, this is interesting. So, I'm going to go for mine, making him slower. I'm going to do my shield protection. Like, my short defense. Um, just so I can get that up. Um, because there's no point. I might as well block the damage he's going to give me when he's invincible. Um... This is why Stegodus is just so overpowered because it is like the the moves it have, the, the moves it have very good. <laughs> the moves the moves it has in its set is just its move set's just too good. It's it's got like nullify that, slow down that, shield, armor piercing. <laughs> it's got everything you need. So he's gonna go first. Um, he's probably gonna go for a stun here. Yeah, greatest stunning strike. Hopefully he doesn't get that. Um, oh, he gets a crit, and he gets that. He's probably going to go for Rampage here. Um, now, if he does go for Rampage, we may survive. He is level 19. We might just survive. If that's the case, I'm going to go for Thag. Please survive. Please survive. 
Yes! Oh no! I forgot! He's got oh if you don't if you don't flinch after being hit, you're dead. Because he's got his Oh, I forgot about that. The counter. Damn it. Oh, he should have went for the armor piercing. Okay, anyway, not too bad. Could be worse. Right. So now I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for Indoraptor. Because he doesn't have much to counter me. He's only got um I'm gonna go oh I could have went for armor piercing, like the the, the first hit. I could have went for that. Done a load of damage, but I'm not going to because I knew this was coming and I'd rather play my cards here. So he gets to go first. I'm going to cleanse myself and then I'm going to go for the armor piece. Ah, that's the one thing I was hoping you wouldn't get. He's still dead because I've got my huge shield destructive move. Um, and a lot of people have told me, Beaver, just click on the dinosaurs. You can see what they've got. I play them that often. I already know what the moveset is. <laughs> Unless you guys wanted to see it. So he's dead. Uh, so that's 2 nil, and we're in a good position because we've still got evasiveness up. How much, how much time? Well, we've got 1 minute 45 seconds to win this battle. Okay, now this isn't something I really want to face. Oh, we don't have it. It's gone now. Okay. Level 21. Okay, Thagomizer. Um, he could go for armor piercing and kill us here. Um, however, if that was the case, you know what? He's going to go for armor piercing, but I'm going to go for... Megalosuchus, and this is where it works because he's gonna hit me and with this huge hit, but I'm gonna deal some damage back and he can't kill me in one more turn. So at least we've done 500 with that free switch. Now, because we get to go first, I'm gonna go for the shield. Um, so no matter what he does, which is probably a superiority strike, there, there you go. Um, and he can't kill me with Thag. He can't do anything. So at least we're gonna get even more recoil damage on him and we get to go for the Ferocious Strike. So this is why Megalosuchus is good. Nobody uses it, but I feel like it's a pretty decent dinosaur. So uh, unfortunately, we don't have any cleansing things, so he's probably going to kill us with an armor piercing, but at least this time, we haven't taken the loss with the Indoraptor, and we've done so much more damage with it, with, uh, with uh, this guy. So if I wanted to, I could switch now into the uh, Diloranosaurus. Oh! Oh, I forgot! It wore off! Awesome! And he's not dead. Fan, he's not dead. Let's go for Dilaranosaurus. Let's go for Dilaranosaurus. We get to go first. Now, we could win here. And this is a golden rule of thumb. If you can win, just go for the biggest hit. If he's almost dead, because if he switches in, at least you did that to the swap in. So I'm going to do that. And it's Gorgosuchus, which is really good. Um, we, even if we went for superiority strike, we would have been in a better situation just because we would still go first. But either way, this guy looks really cool. I love it. Now, we could go for the Rampage run. We could go for this one. Great as Stunning Rampage. Doesn't matter what. He's dead. And just... That was pretty easy. Um, I wonder if this Dilophosaurus is really, really good. I kind of hope it is. I, I want it to be good. I really want it to be good. Okay. Now, let's say that might have been luck. We, we were paired against a pretty low opponent. Level 18 Stegoceratops. Level 21 Stegodus, though. Even down here in the lower ranks. That's pretty decent. Um... And it, it gives you... Oh, God, look. 23, 20, 20, 20. <laughs> um, probably going to start with Stegodus again, just because we have that versatility. Um, even down here, 4,000 trophies. Super hard opponents. Can't understate that. Um, and I, again, I just really wish that there were legit players. I know we face bots. It's obvious, but still. Oh, he took time to think about that, or at least the bot did. Uh, level 19, Okay. So he's probably going to go for invincibility, uh, like the last time did. Uh, I would assume anyway, but then again, we got full health. No, he goes for it, because he's a bot. He's going to pretty much do the same thing. Um, I think they sometimes change how they behave depending on what you've got in your team. So he doesn't do any damage to us. Um, now, I'm going to go for shield. I, go, I could go for Thagomizer here. But the thing is, he also has superiority strike, and he's probably going to use it himself to slow me down. Uh, we'll, we'll have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, see, he went for it just to nullify his own speed nerf, even though it would be cancelled at the end of the turn. Um, so now he's probably going to go for great stunning strike. We've seen this run through with the last battle. Is he going to do it? it? It only makes sense, because at least then he has a chance to stun me, and it's a 75% chance, and he gets it. Now he will go for rampage. He's still quicker. Um... Now, what works out better here? To slow him down. And then go for... Yeah, slow him down, then go for the armor piercing. Because then we get to go first. I was going to say, if we go for armor piercing, 
and then we go for the slowdown. He gets to hit us twice before we do the armor piercing. If not, either it's still two turns either way. It just like this is the only counter for Stegodus, honestly. But you have to play it so right. You have to copy what they do, uh, in in other words. So let's go for the armor piercing. That's gonna do one thousand. 700 now, I think, because we just leveled it up. It usually does 1,600. Might do a little bit more. Let's have a look. Okay. Huh? All right. How much? 1,764. Jeez. Now, we've got, oh, you probably go for Severity Strike. There it is. Uh, if I was him, I would go for... Oh, I don't know what I'd go for. Probably just another Rampage, just to do a lot of damage. If he does have Invincibility, I'd probably do that if it has Recharged. Just to get some extra uh, counterattacks on. So I, I think I've played this the, this the best way I can. Yeah, he does have long invincibility. Damn. Okay. But this is okay because it gets it gets my Thagomizer to recharge for the next dinosaur coming in. And he's not... I mean, he's probably going to do greater stun. And he gets bloody crits all the time. Two crits. I haven't had a single one. Okay, so let's slow him down. He does greater stunning strike. Worst case scenario, we get stunned. We get stunned. Again, they're bot, so... It just happens. If they have a chance to get stunned, they'll get it. If they have a chance to uh, get a crit, they get it. So I'm going to go for this, meaning that... Oh, there's the rampage. Okay, so he does... And he gets a three freaking crits. Three crits. Are you serious? Come on, game. I know it's, it's the whole thing. There's this whole argument about it being random. And, you know, if they, what if the crits were... You got three crits in a match or, you know... Um, if there wasn't any of that percentage chance, then it would just be, oh, I'm a higher level, I'm going to beat you. Which I completely understand. So, in this case, Post Metrodon has immunity, so there's no point what I do. I might as well just go for a big hit. He's probably even going to kill me here, actually. He's level 20. Oh! Oh, the crit! Again! The crit! The crit! I'm sorry. The Honestly, sometimes I just don't want to play this, just because it's like, well, I might as well just throw the match. Uh, so... What's the best thing? Probably Megalosuchus, just because it's a good offensive and he's an offensive as well. Uh, he is quicker, so there's no point. There's also no point in me going for the shield. We're probably both going to go for Ferocious Strike. I thought so. Yeah. So he gets his. Can I get my crit, please? On that as well. Don't get the crit on that. Can I get the crit on this? A little crit on this, please? No crit on that. Uh, okay, so he's going to go for his defense shattering whatever, and he's going to kill me. Yep, defense shattering impact. I was right. There it is. And oh no, he doesn't. Okay, but he's dead. Right. It's all going to come down to Indominus or the Ankylosaurus uh, hybrid. The, sorry, it's not Ankylosaurus. You post you know what I mean, that one. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, man. These battles are so tough. And it's, it's like I've just been dropping, dropping and dropping just because they are really tough. Um,. So if you guys have any pointers... Oh, Lord. I'm quicker, right? I'm quicker! Oh, I've just used everything. Um, now, he might go for a little thing. I might as well go for the shield. Be the optimist, right? <laughs> I might as well go for that. If he... Oh, no. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. I was going to say, if he went for the little hit, I would have survived. Right. So seeing as it is Indominus, we could go completely balls to the wall, chance it, go for our own Indominus, or we could do this guy. And I, you know what? With the luck I've been having, I might as well uh, do this. So he's got a huge armor-piercing attack. Um, so, but the thing is, if I go for invincibility, it's going to force his hand into going for... Um, I have to. I have to do this. Oh! Oh, okay. Oh, no! That switch, that's not good. Uh, we're still quicker. Hold on, we're still quicker. Let's slow it down. Slow it down. Come on, we can do this. He's probably going to switch. He's probably going to switch into Indominus, I think. Once I get this thing really low level. I think that's what he's going to do. So we'll go for that. Boom. He'll go... Oh, nullifying impact. That's what he went for. Oh, okay. oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Otherwise, he wouldn't do any damage to me, would he? Um, okay, there we go. Ah, uh, invincibility is slowly coming back. So if the Indominus does come, please don't switch it now. Okay, good. We'll do that. Oh, 470... I think we got into the rampage. He's going to go for the slowing impact. He can't kill me. No matter what he does, he can't kill me. So, I think I think he's going to switch into Indominus now. Honestly, I think that's what's going to happen. Now, if he switches into Indominus, I do a rampage. I have to cleanse. I have to cleanse here because if he switches into Indominus, he gets to go first. So, I have to cleanse. 
Oh, stunning impact. Ooh, hold on. Do we get stunned? Oh, for the first time, I didn't get stunned. <laughs> so we go for that. Now, he will switch into Indominus Rex here because otherwise he's dead. Um, I'm just going to go for a Rampage. I'm going to have to go for Rampage. Uh, he will switch, I think. If not, it's an easy win. Yeah, there's the switch. Okay. Indominus already took a big hit. So in comes this hit. Now, we are quicker. I think he's probably, probably going to go for a cloak. So, you know what? I'm just going to do this, and I'm just going to go for greater stuff. Oh, he didn't! What the hell? He could have easily, like, maybe even won that. Okay. What should have happened there is, he gone for a cloak. I did greater stun. He cloaked, and it didn't work. Then I go for my invincibility. He doesn't hit me, and then I finish him with a rampage. That's how the series of events should have unfolded there. So I would have won no matter what. But anyway, guys, this has been like a 40-odd minute, almost 40-minute video. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more Jurassic World Alive, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye <laughs>